What's up guys, I'm back with another video tutorial. And if you have followed the previous uh, tutorials, your screen will look a little bit like this if you're inside of Kodi. Uh, depending on how much you have followed, it could look exactly like this. Um, but what we're gonna be doing today, um, first off, I'm just gonna like preview the channels uh, that Vader provides for their IPTV service. Um, so you can get a look at what channels they have. I won't be showing them all, basically just the list that I have. And then also, I'll show you how you can emulate a real um, cable service provider, um, as in their channel numbers. Um, so I have my category set up here, um, live TV, video on demand, TV shows, movies, sports pass, and settings. Uh, I'm going to go into live TV and basically give you um, a look at Vader's channels here. Um, I am a Chicago fan of everything, so I have local Chicago channels set up, as you can see. Um, let's go ahead and go into CBS Chicago. As you can see, that's working fine. Um, and then I have the other local channels. But if you look here, I have uh, all these channels that start in the 200s, just like DirecTV. Um, ESPN2, running smooth. That's channel 209, um, 212 for NFL Network. We're just going to be picking random channels here. Let's see NBC Sports Network, running smooth. If you look at the DirecTV channel listings, you'll see that these are the exact numbers that DirecTV uses. Let's go into E here. <clears throat> Looks spot on right there. All right, let's go through some more channels. TNT, American Gangster. Feel free to pause it whenever you want so you can get a look at the channels that are available. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna be picking random ones here. Lifetime. So what I've actually did is I've filtered out channels uh, that I don't watch, um, but for the most part, you'll see all of the US channels and all of the sports channels. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll keep going a little bit. We'll pick A&E here. Storage Wars, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna be cutting these stream short so I don't get in any type of trouble here so um, I'll just be playing them and stopping them right away but as you can see TLC 280 just like direct TV I know a lot of you guys wanted to figure out how to organize your channels um, so you could get used to them and the way I'm gonna show you is probably the best way um, so stick around for that Let's see here Commercial on American Heroes. <clears throat> Got all the kids channels here. We'll try Nick. Looks perfect. Let's see what next. Got the MTV channels. Let's see if the bank job is on. Yep, that's definitely the bank job. Um, so as you can see, the guide is spot on with Vader. Um, let's see. CNBC, MSNBC, let's try Fox Business. Perfect. Uh, but to be honest, um, I use a website to get these channel numbers, and they also provide you with their EPG information. Um, so actually, I'm not getting my information through uh, Vader for the guide at this moment. I'm getting it through the website that I'll be showing you in a little bit. Um, and their their guide is just, it's on. Um, here's Ice Age. Stop that. 
you can see I got all the premium movie channels in here. Um, let's see. Stars. Yeah, everything just works too. Like, I don't ever have too many problems with any of these channels not working. If it does happen, they usually get them right back up. Um, and you can't really complain about that at the price that, you know, these IPTV services are giving you these channels for. If you're going to complain about a channel being down for even an hour, um, you might want to go ahead and pay a hundred and something for uh, the real direct TV or charter or Comcast, whatever you go through. So here's the big 10 network, crispy. Try to make sure that I selected all of the HD channels. Here's another one of my Chicago channels, my favorite CSN Chicago or NBC Sports Chicago, it should be. <clears throat> and as you can see there, um, I didn't have all of the Fox Sports channels lined up right there. I filtered all of the ones out that I don't watch. Um, so there aren't any channels missing, that's just my preference. I got some of the Sports One or Sports Net, I should say. Uh, let's try WWE. Not sure what that is. And I'm back at the beginning. Now, you can still go through your different categories if you like to do it that way. You just go ahead and hold down the center button and it brings up this little menu. So you see I went over to premium movies and I can just go through the premium movies. Again, you do this by just holding down that center key or your enter button and it'll bring up this little channel list while you are watching a channel. Um, I'm over in the sports section. I can go over to just the United States. You can see I don't have any of those other language categories in here because I just don't watch them. So yeah, I went ahead and filtered those out. And it just makes it a lot easier to navigate through your channels. And like I said, I just got the Chicago channels for the regional channels. <clears throat> um, but yeah, they have way more regional channels than just Chicago. Uh, you'll be able to filter them out however you want to do that. So here's the site right here, um, iptv-epg.com. And you can see I was able to just punch my own numbers in here. Uh, 204 for HLN. Uh, 229 for HGTV and I basically just copied all of DirecTV because that's what I'm used to I'm used to DirecTV so I went ahead and uh, copied it so I like copy the channel name for example and then I will go to DirecTV site pull up their channel listings paste it in their little box here and it gives me the number copy the number Go back to IPTV-EPG and I pasted the number right there. And I went through and did that with every channel that I wanted to watch. So as I just scroll through here, you can see you can do this for every channel you want to do this for. Um, if you're fine with just having your channels numbered the way that Vader gives it to you or whatever IPTV service you use this is not specifically for Vader's any IPTV service that you have you can do this with <clears throat> if you like the channels they give you leave it alone um, this does come with the price it's very cheap I believe I paid to do this for a hundred or 250 channels um, for like $20 for the entire year <clears throat> these are the different categories that I kept uh, United States sports premium movies um, I didn't delete United Kingdom but as you can see I don't have it selected to get the EPG so 
that's just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up selecting any of those channels or not. Um, if you hit this little drop down over here, you have the option to get the EPG information and all of these other options. And right now I have it excluded. If you look at that green box up there, um, it says my subscription includes 250 channels. I only have 129 of the channels selected. Um, so I can I could add more channels if I wanted to. Um, but yeah. Uh, so you select your groups that you want. You can go into edit channels. And within each group, you can delete the channels you don't want. And you can renumber them. Uh, NFL Network 212. Now, see, I have a Android TV, so I have the numbers on my controller. So it was kind of important to me um, because I can just be watching a show and then just punch in 212 and go to NFL Network, just like I would with DirecTV. Let me see what the name of the site is. www.iptv-epg.com you can go to that website and pretty much alter the channels however you want. Put them in whatever order you want. Number them whatever you want to number them. And then after you save it, they provide you with an M3U link. You use that M3U link um, instead of the one that Vader provides you. And it's simply that, that easy. Um, so if you are used to Charter, go ahead and number your channels like Charter has theirs numbered. Um, if you're used to Comcast, do the same thing. Like I said, I'm, I'm used to DirecTV, so it was cool to do this, and it has made my IPTV experience way better. Um, I hope you learned something. Have a good day. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.